Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt. This is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Carlito's Way. What do you know about this movie? This won our crime Patreon poll. So we'd like to thank our patrons for voting for this to win our crime Patreon poll. And this has Al Pacino. Yeah. That's all I got. Same, I don't know. I assume Al Pacino is Carlito and we're gonna go his way. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I thought <laughs> Carlito's Way was like a street. Oh, it could be a street. <laughs> I don't know. I have really been looking forward to this. This movie has been recommended so much to us. We've had it on so many polls. We've had it on Al Pacino polls. Right. Um, a ton. And I really look forward to this. I feel like I've enjoyed our Al Pacino like series. Yeah, we've watched a handful of Al Pacino films and they're all so fun. Yeah, so good. I think the last one we watched was Scent of a Woman. I think so too, yeah. But I will say we also did see him in Oceans. Oh yeah, he you know, that was a more recent one. But, yeah. But he was not the main person. No, no, no. But as like, yeah, as the main, a main character would be Scent of a Woman, which we watched all the way back at Thanksgiving. So it's yeah. been a while. And that was excellent. So good. Um, So I'm- <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, I was trying to think of like, what's what was that? This yeah, place? yeah. Oh no, we're gonna get that again. No, I'm sure. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> I meant you. <laughs> no, no, I know. <laughs> I'm sure he's not gonna start the like, hey, I'm Carlito. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really know anything about this movie, but like you said, so recommended. Yeah. Um, and it's Al Pacino, so it's already gonna be good. Yeah, so I don't know if this is gonna be like detective-y. That's like a big plus for me. I love detective-y type films that we need to be figuring out. So I don't know if it's going that way, if it's like a heist. I don't know. Not here. Yeah. Or if he, like, are you the- Is he the good guy or the bad guy? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm really excited to get into this. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on our Twitch, Twitter, or Instagram, all those things are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Okay, well, starting out with Al Pacino getting shot. This is a robbery? I've been here before. Same as when I got popped on all 4th Street. Man, you've been shot before? My crew got washed a long time ago. I like how that was in color. It don't ever quit. I ain't ready to check out. So his crew, so does that mean he's a gangster or something like that? A bad guy? Other than an incredible convergence of circumstances which you have exploited to your client's benefit. Dang. It's reasonable to request that Mr. Brigante be indulged his right to speak. Okay, Mr. Brigante, I'm all ears. I didn't even recognize him. Right, Sean Penn. Yeah. I want to thank you, sir, for making the tapes in an illegal fashion. The Court of Appeals for reversing you, Your Honor? Dang. David Kleinfeld, who never gave up on me. Now devolve upon me the painful duty of unleashing upon society a reputed assassin. Assassin? Never convicted on no dope. You didn't refute the assassin part. Business discharge, call the next case. <laughs> what a like, fuck you speech. Free at last! I gotta work here. Save your energy. Wait till you see what I got lined up for tonight. Yes! So loud. I know. <laughs> I told you I ain't going back to the street. I got plans, baby. Yeah, well, talk to me. Because yeah. you can dance with him if you wanna. Hey, <laughs> they're like, yeah, get out of here. He's gonna run the place straight, clean. Hey, hey, Dave, I own clubs. I never ran. <laughs> These ladies just waiting around for him. You saved my life, Dave. So you love me. Love you. You was abroad. I'm married. <laughs> that you would. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Did you say who's that? Yeah. He went down to the Bahamas. He got this car rental place. I could buy in any time I got 75 grand together. That's the plan? Car rental business? You're going to rent cars. <laughs> in the Bahamas, though. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> car rental guys don't get killed that much. Probably true. So what are you doing these days? Uh, just a little legwork for Senor Pablo Cabrales. That's not good. I'm a delivery boy, that's all. Delivers drugs? That's oh. 30 grand. What are you, this guy just got out of jail and you have- I gotta go down the block for this pickup, man. Can you come with me? He's retired. 
Don't get me involved with that stuff. Oh, come on. I know these guys. They see no. who my backup is and they'll shit in their pants. Why do you need your friends to shit in their pants? All right, 10 minutes. And I promise your mother we'd be there for dinner. Boom, boom, in and out. I don't like any of this. No. So when they're driving. <laughs> Dude, that is so just like. Screen. Yeah. Screams out, please arrest me. So the kid's walking in there with 30 big ones and the legend, me, more than enough to put me right back where I just come from. You're going to take the 30 grand? Oh, this is my cousin, man. Primo mio, Carlito Brigante. Oh, well, what you need him for? Tranquilo, tranquilo. <laughs> tranquilo. I heard of you, man. You used to run smack with Rolando. Uh-oh. You don't mind if I count it, right? Oh, it's all there, man. Oh, that's cash. I thought that was dope. I thought at first it was what it was worth. Yeah, right. Yeah. You got a light? Yeah, sure, man. <sighs> okay, he knows where the gun is. You gotta check this out. Galito's doing one of his tricks. Well, hey, man. I ain't done counting yet. Something bad is yeah, going. Yeah, I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> Brian De Palma always fucking drags this out. So it's so stressful. <laughs> you gotta put your finger right here. Right on top of the 12. Let me have your cue. Okay, line him up. Okay, he's got the cue. Gonna hit this guy in the face. What? Oh! Your boss is dead and so are oh! you. Oh, he's already dead. Damn. Damn, that went so bad. Come on in here, motherfuckers. Okay, I'm coming. Is that them getting out of here? I think so. Hopefully, because he has no bullets. Here come the pain! Did he get shot? Carlito? Yeah. Yeah. You said they were friends, Guayo. Seriously. But they ain't no friends in this shit business. Cut your throat. Well, there's 30 grand in cash. Adios, primo. Everyone's running to it? I'll be running away. So I took a look at this uh, Sasso's place. It's good. It's a nice location. No, I'm going to put my own money in. Done. <clears throat> I need a bodyguard. Somebody good. Just a little misunderstanding. It's no big deal. What do you need a bodyguard for? Everyone's like, ah, no big deal. Okay, it's Pachanga. One of the old barrio crowd. He's good. Oh, I thought it was going to be Carlito. I hear you're doing good business with this place. Very good. So how come you need money? How much you owe? 50, 60 sold. Okay, that means about 100. <laughs> What are you trying to do to me? What I'm trying to do, Sasso, is save your ass. That's some kind of stink you're gonna make. Dang. Okay, okay, what time tomorrow? They're bringing Pachanga. Thinks I'm gonna make him rich. So he's worried I'm gonna get killed before he scores. <laughs> Please don't die. Don't you ever see nobody you like in here? Nobody but you, Steph. Except whoever this is. <laughs> Jeez, she looks like Gail. Same color hair. Oh, I miss you, Gail. You pray for one face that didn't change. It's gotta be Gail. I used to go out with that guy, Carlito Bragante, that's right. Charlie. Hello, Gail. I don't know if he was just gonna like watch her from afar. Well, um, I was in the road company of this show called Songbird. I wasn't the lead, but it was a great part. So was she at the shooting in the beginning of the movie? I believe so. What was it like inside, Charlie? A lot of push-ups. A lot of wasted time. You still pissed at me. What do you think? I mean, you just left for five years. Now what? Now what? I don't know. I'm here, I'm out. Just pick up where you left off? That seemed impossible. Well, what about this um, club of yours? Just trying to make enough money. To leave again? <laughs> Can I call you sometime? Why don't you let me call you? <sighs> Night. It seems like such an odd match to me. Yeah, like, uh... Criminal, assassin, <laughs> drug dealer guy, and a ballerina. <laughs> but they're cute. Yeah. It does feel like he genuinely does want to leave. Yeah. Where's his bodyguard? Prison barge. Yeah, right? Okay, Jackson. Beat it. Yes, sir, Mr. Tagliolucci. Yes, sir. I give you a million bucks to make a simple payoff and nothing happens. My million bucks went straight in your pockets. Damn, did he really steal a million dollars? 
I understand you got a boat. You gonna get me out of here. I'm gonna break him out? I got a million dollar credit with you, and all you gotta do is be there with the boat to pick me up. That's not that big of a deal. <laughs> I wonder if he did steal the money, though. I mean, if he gets him in the water and he just doesn't pick him up. And he just dies. Yeah. <laughs> then problem solved. Well, that's probably why he's sending his son. Yeah. Nothing in You told me he was doing 30 years. Yeah, well, I guess he got out, you know? I have to say, he's a stand-up guy. Oh, what a choice of words. Mama, how you doing? <laughs> What a place. Oh, it's Vigo. How's Gail? Yeah, I seen her down in, 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 his, in his show. A lot of talent. <laughs> Girl, got a lot of talent. Uh, what kind of show? So what you say, you and me, just like old times, man. Oh. oh. That's why you're out. This is how you beat your 30 years, no. huh? Piece of shit. Wait, Wait you a fucking cheever, man? No, I see. Let me you fucking run, man. Let me fucking not in the club. You got everything, man. In my pants every day. I can't walk. I can't hump. They made me do it. Who's listening on the other end? Mm. I'm not good in the joint. I'm in a fucking wheelchair, Carlito. I know they didn't come in after he got caught. Who sent you, motherfucker? DA, Answer. The DA. The DA. No walk. He got a heart out for you, man. He got to be with dealing again. Big time. I mean, the, the DA just met with his lawyer friend, too. Yeah. Do it, man. Just fucking kill me. You lost, motherfucker. Déjame explicar. I feel bad for him. I know, yeah. The streets are brutal. What was this, the show? Oh. Uh, go, go? Oh, is that her? I don't think so. It doesn't really look like her, right? That was her? Oh, she must have just had a wig on. <laughs> that wig did a lot. <laughs> and I figured her reaction would have been a little bit more shocked to see shocked him. Shocked to see him. What's the matter, Charlie? No, I was just, you know. <clears throat> Five years is a long time. I don't judge you, you know, Charlie. Now, what do you do that's so wonderful, huh? You ever kill anybody, Charlie? Yeah, pretty recently. When am I going to see you again? Well, why don't you surprise me another time? To show up to her house then. <laughs> Hey, where's my money? My money. And you kidding? Yeah. yeah. So he doesn't actually owe him any money? No, I, I think he does. He Maybe he just paid it off already. Yeah. Stephanie. You're being called for. <laughs> just follow the sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. What do you think was happening? <laughs> what kind of problem? He's in the bathroom, fuck me, Steph. What's the problem? She belongs to Benny Blanc on her. Don't worry. I think this is the moment where someone's gonna get shot. Where are you behind this man, huh? This is one sexy man. <laughs> Faster than a speeding bullet. <laughs> yeah. Steffi's with Dave now. But Benny. This poor man. Right? Carlito, this is from Benny Blanco. Send it back. You're causing some problems here for your customers. Benny Blanco spends a lot of money here. Oh, he's a nickel bagger. Come on. Are you pissed off because of Gail? What, you think you like me? You ain't like me, motherfucker. You a punk. Damn. I think Steffi's making a big fucking mistake. <laughs> Damn, the lawyer's packing a gun? Put that fucking gun away! This is not good for business. No. Oh, you're not taking him out? You're taking him upstairs? I think that is out. No? No, oh, this no. is his office, I think. If I ever see you again, I swear to God, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Ah, fuck! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. All right, go away. Get him out. Take him out the back. Oh, that is an exit. Yeah. Dumb move, but it's like them old reflexes coming back. Yeah, that was really stupid by you. Let him go. What? what? Don't want to burn nobody, even when I know I should. Yeah. I don't know. Not, you just stopped halfway, though. Yeah. Like, you should have either done nothing or done yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, Give me the fucking gun. Since when are you a tough guy? Think I'm some law school schmuck? I never saw a bad guy before? 
You just called him a bad guy. <laughs> I know you love me, kid, but you gotta lighten up. Something I wanna talk to you about. How much coke are you doing? Damn. Oh my God. <laughs> so I wonder if Benny Blanco is the person who kills him at, at the end of the movie. He can't fuck me all the coke he's doing, all right? <laughs> what are you two talking about? <laughs> Chicks, give me a hand job right in front of everybody. I got guests here for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want to fuck a fucker like a normal human being? Take her in the bedroom. <laughs> He's losing it. You got to help me spring Tony Tagliolucci from the prison barge at Rikers. What a big ask to someone who wants to be retired. Thinks I stole a million dollars from him. This is a dying man. Did you steal a million dollars? You're going to have to bust into prison. No, no, no. What do you think, I'm crazy? Yes. He's gonna swim off the island. Gonna swim? Yeah. Swim a hundred yards to a buoy. And he's dying. I have to do this. What the fuck is happening to you? I don't know. The coke, the guns. How do I know he's not gonna kill me? This guy hates my guts. I'm in trouble. Yeah, even if he saves him, he still thinks he stole a million dollars. The son's gonna call me, are you in? Yeah, I'm in. All right, I'm in. Okay. He has a real hard time staying away from, like, dangerous criminal activity for someone I mean, someone that's who's... what he said. No, I know. It comes to him. Gail? Hopefully. Surprise her. Surprise. <laughs> well, uh, can I come in? <laughs> I'm saying no, Charlie. What? What can I do? What are you gonna do? Plan hard to get? Bust the chain. Chase me around the apartment. Get me naked. It, oh. Take me on the floor. Do you want him to bust the chain? I'm, I'm too old for that. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't get in, you don't get in. Just, uh... Undo it undo with your yeah. fingers? You're not such an innocent ballerina that I thought you were. <laughs> She knew, perfectly the, placed yeah, mirror. she knew the mirror angles to the front door. <laughs> You're gonna shut the door? <laughs> Where's my cheesecake? <laughs> I'm rooting for them though. Yeah, even though we know he gets shot as they're probably on their way to paradise. Not a simple question. You don't have to answer. I think that is the answer. Right, if he didn't, he would be like, no. Do what you gotta do to survive. Only I'm getting out. I'm on red cards. We left. Oh. Yeah, everyone laughs at his dream. Maybe it's time I started thinking about doing something else. Maybe someplace else too. Like Bahamas. She ain't saying much, but I can tell the idea is growing on her. <laughs> Everybody dancing, drinking, Dom Perignon. But he has that. Yeah, what's the issue? I feel like he thinks that. Carlito's being disrespected, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, what I don't appreciate is he's got his fucking hands all over her ass. We don't have his hands over her ass. I believe those are our hips. <laughs> this shithead. Carlito doesn't care. Yeah, if Carlito doesn't care, then you don't care. Well, I think you should tell him what you think. I mean, it's, why, why would you ever hold something like that inside? Why would you encourage him to do something? Hey, you. What's that? Yeah, you. Me? You. Spaghetti dick. What? Okay. You told him to. I think he met in his, like, line of work. <laughs> He's drunk! He's drunk! Hey, sir! You don't get seasick on boats, do you? His dad's going to have a little boat trip tomorrow night. Just drop it, babe. Yeah, why are you talking about this? Cover all the bases. It's coming up, you know. Tick, 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 tick. You two going somewhere? Dude, you're such a problem. If a guy's going on a boat, you only know if he gets seasick. This could be important. What boat are you talking about? Great job, Dave. If you ever talk that shit again, I will kill you. This man. Oh my God! Stop doing drugs. Why'd you make me believe all the crap about Bahamas and paradise? I feel ridiculous. God. Oh. I got. I owe Dave. You I don't know him shit. I know how the stream ends, Charlie. Carrying you into. Set an emergency room. Dang. Well, your shirt's filled with blood and you die. All your talk is bullshit. You're dead. You're not Oof. I owe him. That's who I am. 
I can't change that. Please. I mean, we know the ending, so it's like... Kleinfeld was coked out of his mind. Oh, my... Bad start, Jack. So bad. Is there any chance that this guy made it to this buoy? It's pretty far at night. And he's Would they say 100 feet? 100 yards? 100 yards. I can't see a fucking thing. It's right there. Did you hear what I just said to you? What are you doing? Oh, oh shit, he is there. Hey, slow down. Dude, you were going way too fast. Did you just kill him with that, like, wake? Help. Oh, he's still there. Hey, you missed me over here. I think maybe he shouldn't be yelling. They're not that far from the prison. Just keep the bow point straight, that fucking line. Okay? All right. Man, is that? I got the light. Okay. I feel like this lawyer's gonna do something stupid. Yeah. Okay, got him! Okay, he's there on the ladder. Tony, grab a rail! No. You tell me how it feels with the fucking ears ah. and the fucking eyes! Jeez! What the fuck are you doing? No! You killed us. Uh, Frank, uh, your daddy's waiting for you, Frank. <laughs> I was not anticipating the lawyer being his downfall. That was so bad. They drowned. Maybe they got their head split by a scow or barge or something just for good measure. Sure. This is never going to come back to us. Trust me. You ripped him off, didn't you? Took the money? Yeah. You're a bad guy, dude. You a gangster now. You on the other side. We're even. Let's get a drink. Sit! We're even. Might be too late for you, Carlito. I mean, we know it is. You get old enough, you remember a reason why everybody wants to whack you. When you can't see the angles no more, you in trouble, baby. Somehow he's just had, like, created or so many enemies. This is Patrolman Williams. Somebody tried to steal your Mercedes. There was an accident. I feel like that was not real. No, he's about to get murdered. Okay, which one's the killer here? His own bodyguard or this guy? <laughs> Of course, there's going to be suspense and tension. Yeah. But where is it coming from? Oh! This is taking a Lucci says to hold that form. No way. That was so efficient. They just took him out and were gone. I can't talk, Charlie. I have an appointment. You were right. He's a bad guy. Who's this guy? I can't talk, Charlie. I'll call you. Is he a knife? The guy in mustard. Yeah. Am I on the outs with you? Yeah. yeah, he's waiting. I just wanted you to know you were right about Kleinfeld. Oh, you're being followed. Not for long, okay? What is that? He's so suspicious. <laughs> have a kid who's not gonna oh, in the car <laughs> hey, hey. Mr. Bugatti, i'm here to escort oh, you to mr norwalk in the district oh. attorney's office jeez it was a walkie talkie i've been instructed to inform you mr norwalk has a tape recording he'd like to play for me yeah be the safest place probably yeah seriously i thought you were about to get murdered kleinfeld's lucky to be alive oh what he has a knife in his chest they weren't as efficient <laughs> Bad killers. They left too quickly. He's dirty. Money laundering, jury tampering, bribery. We've been after him for some time now. I like how he sits. He's like so far down. I got suspicious. I found out he was back with Rolanda Rivas, his old partner. That's not true. And I'm talking serious numbers. Would you testify to that? Absolutely. That's not true at all. We don't believe him. Good. Kleinfeld's the one we're after. With your help. We can put this filth away. He won't do that. We know about Tony T. Mm. We aren't saying you were on that boat too, but knowing your relationship with Kleinfeld, that's certainly a good possibility. Oh, especially Gail. If you were on that boat, and I know goddamn well you were, you'll receive complete immunity. 
and a couple airline tickets to the Bahamas. You want to get even with Kleinfeld? Here it is on a silver platter. Oh. I mean, Kleinfeld was trying to set him up. Yeah. I don't know these people, and I don't know what you're saying. So. But it's in him to just not cooperate. Yeah. What if they get the Kleinfeld again? Twist his arm. You think your friend won't talk? You think he won't give you up? He already was trying to. You think you're gonna sail off into the sunset, asshole? You gotta do it. I mean, they're giving you no choice. I got a way out of this. Uh, pull over here, please. What is your way out? Where are you going? Wait here five minutes. Things have also changed. She's pregnant. Hmm, yeah. Hey! I'm sure she's terrified to think that at any moment someone could just come up and kill him. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Tickets on an overnight train to Miami. I already got almost 70 grand in a, in a safe there. My friend in the islands can float us the rest. You don't make this train, buddy. You're going to be there? Yeah, I'll be there. I love you. I love you. And it's like, who shoots him in the end? He, there's so many people it could be. No way he comes out of the country for me if he can't even bust me here. What are they doing? Visiting his buddy. Gotta listen to my instincts. Like the one telling me that face and that uniform don't go together. Oh, shit. Just one last piece of business. Gotta look in Kleinfeld's eyes. Gotta know for sure. Know for sure? What? He was on tape. Kleinfeld is my lawyer. All right, hands on the wall. Are you gonna let him know that there's a fake cop right around the corner? Well, maybe after he talks to him. Mom is looking for you. Yes. I know. Where the fuck have you been? You still have a gun somehow? How do you feel? Well, I'm not feeling very well. Where the fuck have you been? You're doing pretty good for some guy who got stabbed in the chest a couple of times. Fuck the street. Your whole goddamn world's this big and there's only one rule. You save your own ass. Yeah, if that was the only rule, he wouldn't have gone on that boat with you. Here's the fake cop. You really? Yeah, yeah. A few minutes. Finish your paper. It's all yours. Thanks. Damn, that was easy. Ooh, is he gonna be ready though? Yeah, is Dave gonna be ready? There's a delivery for you, Mr. Kleinfeld. From who? From my father. <gasps> that was great. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> that was a great reveal. I want you to go to Gail's house, pick her up, drive her to Grand Central. Okay, right? okay, you I want you to wait with her there for me. I thought that guy was mad at him, though. Yeah. Because it doesn't necessarily mean he's not going to be loyal. Remember me? Petey, how you doing? Is this the mob? I'd already be dead. He just watching me. Just play it cool, Carlito. Tell me, let me do what I got to do. I'll be right back. Okay, okay buddy. Mm. He's gonna have to go out the back. Why does that look like Tony Soprano and Bobby? It does, doesn't it? Are you alone? Oh my god, who had the code to the safe? Everything you've been working for, gone? Well, that's the brother who just did the killing. Sasso. Sasso? Where's my money? I don't know. I cut your fucking liver. Oof. He's in the box under the register. I was gonna tell you. You were gonna tell him? Fuck, sit him in a hospital, Pete. Outside, we'll take him outside. Now, come on, sit down. Oh, God. Shouldn't have gone on that boat. Shouldn't have gone to the hospital either. Could have came, got his money, and went to the train station. Yeah. Doesn't look like 70 grand. No. Oh, no way. Come on, Vinny, stop. Let's go. Get him outside. Come on. Oh. Damn, he didn't make it too far. Somehow the slow guy is going to be the downfall. Oh. 
She couldn't get off between trains? I don't know. Before it took off? That would have been a good move. Ugh. Damn, so he has to meet Gale running from the Italians. I don't know why this is so, like, suspenseful, even though we've already seen what happens. Yeah, it's just we still don't know who shoots him. We're about to run into this big guy. Oh. Good. <laughs> that worked the other way. How do you get out of this? Uh-oh. Are these like a bunch of like cadets or something? Is this Grand Central though? Could be. Oh my god. And away we go. Just stick with them. <laughs> hey fellas, mind walking with me? Stairs. Can't miss no way. Disappeared behind some balloons. Run, Carlito. I'm out of breath watching this. I know. Mm. Oh, so close. But he has to go down too. Looking at them. <laughs> Last call for Star. Down for Tampa and my. Oh. Last call. Oh. Is there an elevator? I know, there's gotta be a different way down. We lost him, Vinny. We lost no, him. We didn't fucking lose him, you fucking moron. He's up top of us. Come on, move, move. Where's the other guy? Yeah, the big guy. This guy might just take himself out. No way. Oh, no! no! He's here! <laughs> Fucking uh... kidding me. Oh. Oof. How many bullets does he have? Hopefully enough. Oh, you're running out of space. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Run, Carlito. Who shoots him then? Oh. Where are the police? Charlie! Charlie! Go! Think I want to have one arm? So is it this guy right there? Like his friend? Oh! Oh! Police, free! oh. oh. This guy! Hey, remember me? No! Benny Blanco from the Bronx? Oh. No! No! It was Benny Blanco. Ain't no hard feelings, Carlito. But I gotta think about my future too. No way. Come on, let's go. Nah, you stay here. Oh. oh! You're gonna be okay. What? Just hold on, baby. Is Benny Blanco still just standing there? He probably just walks away. Not yet, Charlie. No, no, baby. This is what she knew would happen. Die. Just doesn't make it. All right, that was Carlito's way. What'd you think? I mean, that was great. Yeah. That just, it took so many twists and turns that I wasn't expecting, especially Kleinfeld being like the downfall. I mean, but not even. No, I mean, not even. He wasn't even the reason for his death at the end there, but. Yeah, close to it. But it was just really interesting because it was all just kind of like Carlito trying to get out of this. Yeah. And no, like just his life and the connections he had in the past and his, I guess, street code or whatever. Like, no matter what happened, it seemed like he couldn't get out of this. And it was pretty well, I guess, 
predicted by Gail yeah. that it was going to end with him dying and her in tears. And that's what happened. I guess start with Gail. Carlito and Gail were so sweet. Yeah. Um, I loved watching their relationship blossom. Obviously him getting out and coming back to her. And I just really liked her a lot. Yeah, I mean, they were like a good couple. Even with like moments where you think it would be bad, it wasn't bad. No. So they really got along and it's just like sucks that they didn't get that opportunity to be together like yeah. they clearly wanted. Yeah. And I'm sure she had a big part in his decision to like escape this life mm -hmm. was to maybe have a chance to be with her. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I definitely wasn't expecting Kleinfeld to be so terrible. I mean, like, especially the movie starts and he's the whole reason that Carlito gets this opportunity to start fresh after only five years instead of 30 years. Yeah, and the way that he got out, like, yes, it was like the, they got it thrown out on like the technicality of the way his case was handled. So you kind of think like, obviously he's defending Carlito and so his clientele is probably not the greatest. Right. But I mean, that is a legitimate reason. I mean, they handled it poorly and so they were able to get him out. Yeah. So just kind of watching his downfall, obviously we see, or we hear at the end that Kleinfeld, after he got sentenced and put away, he essentially just went down a bad path. Yeah, because it wasn't like Kleinfeld started to slowly go downhill, like when he got threatened by that mob guy. Yeah. He had been bad for a long time. He did steal that money. Yeah. There was other crimes that he was committing. Yeah. The uh, district attorney or whatever probably was after him a lot more than Carlito. I, I think they even said yes. that. Yes, yeah, he was like, whatever with you. Yeah. Like, are you gonna help me take down Kleinfeld? And it's just like a bummer too, because there are situations where it was Carlito's fault. Like the whole Benny Blanco thing, that was handled very poorly by Carlito. I know, and then for that to be his downfall. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's hard to predict what would have been. I think he was dead no matter what, whether it was yeah. Benny Blanco or the mob or that uh, his friend Pachanga, P P P P Pachanga, P Pachanga, I think. Pachanga. Yeah. He just was pissed off that he wasn't making as much money as he thought he would. So he kind of jumped shit to someone else. Yeah. I mean, he was, I mean, the reason that Benny Blanco was able to get him at the train station. Right. Knew exactly where he would be. Yeah. But then just for Blanco to just turn Kid, on him immediately. Which I guess that's the streets. Yeah. Like it's just all for yourself. Yeah. But Carlito had this like, it's like he was a, uh, more honest, like moral criminal. Like he had something in him that made him feel like he was responsible for helping Kleinfeld. He did not like that boat situation from the start, but he felt like he was obligated to because he owed him stuff like that. Right, and that's why when they get off the boat after things go sour, uh, he's like, we're even, right? Like I need you to say to me that we're even. Yeah, so it's just like, man, Carlito could have been okay in that situation if he would have just trusted his instincts like he did at the hospital where he knew that that was a fake cop. Like he should have trusted his instincts to be like, I should not get on this boat. Or yeah. even getting on the boat, he should have like not left Kleinfeld alone. Like Kleinfeld, just stay down there. Uh, let me do everything else. Yeah, I mean, I feel like he didn't think maybe Kleinfeld had it in him. Yeah, but it's just like, he didn't owe him like he's your lawyer, that's his job. It's not like he did something that wasn't his job, Yeah. but it's that street behavior where he's like, oh, a favor for a favor type of thing. Yeah. And then the whole like street aspect came into the play with uh, Benny Blanco. Like yeah. that was more ego kind of being like, oh, he's not me, he'll never be me. Get the fuck out of here. Like if you would have just entertained this guy for two minutes and been like, sure, good luck, buddy. That would have been it. Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't have created this enemy with this punk who was ambitious enough to do something stupid like this, like assassinate Carlito. Yeah, I mean, I think there was a lot of... There's just a lot of mistakes. Yeah, yeah. but I, I genuinely felt like his, I guess, narration of everything, you feel like he really does just want to be out of it. Oh no, I 100% believe he wanted to be out of it, but it's just like, but he kept saying that things kept pulling him back in. And it's like, 
from the first moment that he's out and his cousin is like, oh, just come with me here. Yeah. Like he does keep getting pulled in. Yeah. Um, obviously he's not innocent in all of this because no, everything he did prior. <laughs> um, but yeah, he just, he tried to get out and there wasn't a way out for him. But I was very surprised that Kleinfeld was kind of a huge part of his downfall. Yeah, a huge part. And even like that situation, like Carlito's smart enough to know, like I'm fresh out of prison. I probably shouldn't be going with you for an exchange of money for drugs. Yeah. But he went anyways because it's family. Yeah. So it's like this code of his really shot himself in the foot because yeah. he was really, really trying to get out. Yeah. But he even had that moment when he like slammed his like fist on the mirror and stuff right. where, where he kind of snapped where he's yeah. like, this is me. I can't change me. Like, yeah, he is someone who's going to help his family or help his friends, even if the situation smells and looks like shit. He's still going to put himself in it yeah. because that's just who he is, yeah. even if he wanted so badly to get out. So it's just like this tragic story where you know the ending and you just see him struggle. And it's just like, dang it, dude, we're rooting for you. Yeah, I mean, and then you see, I mean, you know, Brian De Palma at this point, we're familiar. And um, the amount of suspense that he can create, even with us knowing the ending already. Yeah. Um, I guess we didn't know the whole story, um, but you know that he's gonna get shot and likely die. Yeah. Um, with Gale by his side. Yeah. His side. Yeah, no, it was excellent. The last like 20 minutes of this movie, that whole chase from the club, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the hospital scene though, we have to talk oh, about the gun. That was so cool. That was so cool. I mean, there's a couple of movies that we've seen on the channel specifically that have twists. Um, and obviously that wasn't like a massive twist or anything, but that was still shocking. Yeah, because you are still like anticipating this showdown between the fake cop who you know is coming in yeah. and uh, Kleinfeld who you know is in a better position to defend himself. So you're just totally focused on like, what's gonna happen with that. Yeah. You don't even realize that Carlito just took the bullets. Yeah, I mean, he handled the gun and he put it right in front of him. We should have known better. Yeah. But you just kind of think that he's like, oh, he sees that cop. So he's like, I'm just gonna let them take care of each other. Yeah. Versus him doing anything. But again, but, like that's another situation where like Carlito, he didn't have to go to the hospital. No, Even that, you said that. Yeah, no, I feel like that was one of his biggest mistakes was going to the hospital because then the son does see him at the hospital and he can place him there. And for him to make a comment like, oh, I haven't seen him. I haven't seen the lawyer. Like, yeah, there you go. It just caught you in a lie because yeah. I saw you 10 minutes ago there. Yeah. So. so it's just oh, unfortunate situation after situation surrounded by shitty, awful people who are all just trying to advance their own careers, whether yeah. it's a career in crime or a career in law or yeah. whatever it is. It's just, they were all eating each other alive. Even like uh, Viggo Mortensen, his super small role. Yeah. Like even he was turned into a situation where he was trying to, you know, wiretap or whatever, get them on tape. Yeah. That was a sad scene. That was sad too. I felt bad for him, but then he comes to Carlito with a freaking wire, even though he said it wasn't on yeah, or Yeah, so it wasn't turned on. He was gonna give him a, a hint or something when he would turn it on yeah. or something, but. I don't know. Oh yeah, that was that was rough. Um, it was a dark, dark movie for dark. sure. And there was just moments of like goodness with Gail, I feel like, and the like just shedding like a little bit of light and you think like, oh, like what life could be like and the baby, all of it. Yeah, the moments where they were like dancing and stuff and even like nice moments, the world that he lived in, he couldn't even really have nice moments for very long. Yeah. Like the whole dancing scene where she was dancing with that other guy. Yeah. It was just some innocent dancing, a little far, but for Carlito, if he didn't have a problem with it and you know, whatever. But yeah, leave it alone. And then Gay or Kleinfeld just freaking Has blew to, up. yeah. So it was just so bad to see the situation that he was in. Yeah. Even though that was his world. He yeah. was, you know, we, we come in late in his life and he was, you know, a big legend in this underground world for a long time. You're like right at the end of his redemption arc, but he doesn't succeed in it. Yeah. But yeah, just to touch on the suspense a little bit more, mm -hmm. the last 20 minutes were so good. I mean, like that riding down the elevator 
and like escalator uh, escalator yeah yeah that whole shootout and stuff that was so cool and how the the slow big guy like how that played into a role of him getting caught uh the stabbing scene of kleinfeld Yes, yeah, you're like, oh my gosh, like waiting for the elevator to come up just for the guy to be coming out of the elevator. Yeah. Well, the other guy that did look super suspicious was suspicious. <laughs> oh, and the guy that I thought had a knife, but it was a walkie talkie. That was another thing was yeah. like, it, it plays with the viewer very well because yeah. you literally just saw the lawyer get stabbed yeah. by some suspicious person. Yeah. And now you place another suspicious person right behind Carlito. Yeah, in the car. <laughs> turns out to be police. Yeah. And then the first one was obviously in the like the pool uh, area, like when they were playing on the pool table mm -hmm. and stuff. Oh, right. Just like the little glance over to like, who's in the bathroom? Yeah. And, like that whole scene built up so perfectly to be just so stressful. Yeah. And brutal. I mean, like the rest of this movie, just brutal for everyone. I mean, and there's no good ending for anyone. Gail has to raise a child if she chooses to by herself. And I mean, Carlito's dying wish is that it will be like a new and improved Carlito who won't make the same mistakes he did. Yeah, but it looks like she does escape to paradise. I don't know, is that how you took it? I took that as her, like that's her dancing on the beach. That's a good way to look at it. Is that not how you took it? No, I just took that as his fantasy. Oh. Okay. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna imagine that Gail I, made it. I like that. I like that ending a lot better than mine. <laughs> because he didn't kill like the entire Italian mob. So What, it, they're gonna come after Gail? <laughs> yeah. But they haven't finished the job. There's a little Carlito Jr. <laughs> so uh yeah, no, I like that. That, you know, Gail does make it out of there and is uh able to have a life that she enjoys and yeah. not one filled with tragedy. Uh but yeah, excellent movie. Haven't heard of it until we started the channel and got like recommendations. Ton of recommendations, yeah. So it's uh, cool to be exposed because there was a lot of people in this movie that are some top people. Yeah. And I had no idea until it popped up that it was Brian De Palma. I think, honestly, I think this is one like second place in a lot of polls. Yeah. Like it's almost there every time. So it was really cool that we finally got to it because um, this was fantastic. Yeah. So a little bit of a, a tragic week here with uh, Carlito's Way and Crouching Tiger. Yeah, we just finished Crouching Tiger too right before this. So, so. so two movies with sad endings for both of them. Yeah. So we're gonna need a little pick me up next week because this is rough. I know, I hope there's something good. <laughs> On something the schedule, happy. yeah. Yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.